Aloha everyone. I hope everybody's okay. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Sandy. Today is cloudy day and it's a perfect day to eat ramen. First thing that we do is we will boil the water and add the seasoning. After that, let's go to my little messy garden and then um, we'll pick some spring onions to add into the ramen. And that is alubati leaves by the way the big leaves one that you saw most of the time we will um, make our ramen through cup of noodle or ramen coming from the plastic bag but today we will make fresh noodle ramen coming from the store that comes with a sauce in it usually when you live in Hawaii we have we we love to eat ramen whether it's cold day or warm day uh, this time we will make a uh, fresh noodle um, that you have to cook and add your um, soup base and your uh, whatever um, meat or vegetable you want to put in so first thing we do is boil the water you add the um, uh, flavoring soup base and then for me I normally add eggs so at this time when the noodle is like almost ready to be cooked um, I add uh, one egg just uh, additional protein to the uh, uh, ramen noodle here in Hawaii Simon um, other known as the ramen is almost like an equivalent to the Philippines regional soup dish like your bachoy in Iloilo uh, your lomi soup um, you know the garlicky noodle soup and other sabao but um, originally Simon um, came from the recipe of not even sure if it's coming from the Chinese immigrants or the Japanese immigrants back during the um, sugarcane plantation era where everybody kind of shared their recipe for comfort foods but um, it's really popular, especially with the elderly. I like it when the older people make their simon uh, because they put like fish cakes, uh, leftover meats like pork, char siu, and all other things. But in my version, I like to put my own um, uh, thing like spam or sometimes whatever leftover meat that we have. I also put like um, pak choy um i'm sorry not pak choy but um it's um bok choy which is like a cousin to pet chai in the philippines and it's really tasty it adds fiber to the um dish and uh it makes it such a good comfort food and we normally eat it any time of the day even nighttime when you get really hungry um simon is pretty accessible to everybody uh it comes in a dry form in a fresh form and sometimes it do come in a frozen form all you have to do is add water and you can just put whatever you need to put in it but i like to mix it with a lot of stuff like i said you add your vegetable your leftover meat and you can do whatever you want with it um to your likings and uh Pretty much everybody eats it in the daytime, nighttime, or morning. It's too filling, uh, so it will make you uh, stay off your hunger pangs uh, pretty much for a longer time. So while I um, keep waiting for my vegetable to finish simmering up, uh, I would like to ask you what's your favorite comfort food noodle soup uh, in your area? Can you please comment down below and um, share um so the noodles almost ready and i'm gonna go devour it now and as you can see it's boiling really good thank you so much for watching aloha and mahalo have a good day bye